Today, we're going to gravity feed the rear brakes on this 1969 Corvette. Before we bleed the brakes, we're going to go ahead and jack the car up. We're going to jack the front end of the car higher than the rear of the car. Okay, we already have the car jacked up. And you will notice that I have jacks under the car, but I left my hydraulic jack under the car too. And the reason I do that, in case one of these jack fell, jacks fell, then I still have a, a backup uh, jack with a hydraulic jack. Just a little safety precaution. One other thing, when working with brake fluid, you want to wear latex gloves. The brake fluid is highly corrosive and can cause damage to your skin. Also wear glasses. You don't want any of that to get in your eyes. And when you're working around the car, especially uh, in front where the uh, master cylinder is at, you want to cover the body of the car so that none of the brake fluid gets on the body of the car because it will tear up the paint. You don't want that to happen. So always think safety first. I've seen, now I have seen brakes bled in several different manners. One way is simply to have somebody sit in the car and as they're in the car they press on the brakes, brakes and you open the valve and then as they start to release the brakes you close the valve and the fluid lets all, the fluid comes out and lets the air out. That's a tedious process. And you have to do each valve separately, usually from the back and then the front. Back and then the front. And then you go to each brake, usually from the farthest from, I mean, from the massive cylinder, and then to the next one. Another way is to put this bleeder onto the, the valve and just pump and then pump the air out. Fluid goes into the canister comes out that way. That's also a job that takes a while. And you go from each valve, first this one and then that one. But I prefer gravity feed. Gravity feed is an easy process. It is simple and it does only take one person to do at a time. One other method worth mentioning is they have these valves they called speed bleeders. And what you simply do is you replace this bleeder valve with this one. And this is a Russell bleeder valve and what it does is it's a check valve so that fluid and air can only go one way out and cannot go back in when you close it or depress the brakes. So you replace the valve, you put this one on, you get into the car, press the brakes and just simply pump it. All the fluid in the air comes out, however, air cannot go back in. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and remove the cap master cylinder and this will allow me to view the fluid as it drains out of the brake valves. And one thing you want to keep in mind, never let the fluid get below its minimum level. In other words, never let the reservoir empty out because when it does, air will go through. Now in this particular car, this one, you'll see two reservoirs in one. This one is for the rear brakes and this one's for the front brakes. In this case, we'll only be dealing with this one right here. So that's what we'll watch. We'll watch that fluid level and make sure that it never empties out so it doesn't suck air in. This car actually has three valves. One here, one in the rear, and one here. This one we're not going to worry about. These two is where air will escape. So we loosen this valve. and let the fluid drain out and this valve and let the fluid drain out and what that will do is there we go the fluid will simply drain out here into the pan all the air will escape there we go notice how the brake fluid is escaping out along with the brake fluid is also the air out of the system. The gravity is just forcing it out all on its own. You can walk away for a little bit, but keep in mind, you gotta keep checking that re brake reservoir and that master cylinder. Notice the fluid in the master, master cylinder is decreasing. We wanna make sure that that does not get below its minimum level. And what we'll do, we'll do both brakes at the same time, in which we'll just simply go to the other side.
and open up these valves also. That's the nice thing about this. You can do two brakes at the same time and even four brakes. There we go. Now it's leaking out. Okay, what we'll do is go ahead and add a little brake fluid. Now the nice thing about this is you can purge your brake fluid out. You should always purge your brake fluid about once a year. And this is a beautiful way to do it. Just let it flow out, purge it out, replace it. When the fluid is clear, like it is now, then you can stop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the valves. I've already bled the brakes out because I replaced the fluid in the master cylinder about three times. The fluid is very clear. And just simply tighten back up. And what you want to make sure is you don't tighten it too much because you don't want to strip these valves out. Just a nice snug tightness. And that one is done. And moving back to this side, fluid is still draining out. We'll go ahead and tighten these valves. Nice and snug. Nice and snug. I'll go ahead and top off the master cylinder and now the brakes are done notice how clear the brake fluid is that's a good indication that the brake fluid has been properly purged no smoky no water just clear brake fluid in the reservoir I'll go ahead and put the cap back on. One of the nice things about gravity bleeding your brakes is that you can do both brakes at the same time as long as you keep an eye on the fluid in your reservoir. In fact, if you really wanted to, you could do all four brakes at the same time. But just make sure the reservoir maintains brake fluid in it at all times. Otherwise, it'll suck air in and you start all over from the beginning. Another thing that I like to do is once I'm finished bleeding the brakes, is go ahead and clean it off with some brake parts cleaner. And that way I don't have anything on the pads or anything on the calipers. And that's real simple. You just simply just spray it. And then go ahead and wipe down the excess. Just like this. The wheel is ready to go on. And my brakes are not mushy. They're nice, stiff and hard like we all like it. Well there you go. The gravity bleed process is now complete. We'll go ahead and put the wheels on, down jacket, and let it roll. It's time to roll. <laughs> 